1883 project, it started with Yellowstone and Yellowstone started as something my husband and I could watch and enjoy together. After 20 years, we still could not have more conflicting views on what constitutes as good TV. But Yellowstone was finally something that we could enjoy together. And so it has held a very special place in my heart over the past couple years and many enjoyable Sunday evenings have been spent enjoying it with my husband, my favorite of all company. And so when 1883 came out, I was over the moon because of course it's a period of history that is very intriguing to me. And so the costumes were phenomenal. I dove into the costume designers and looked at images for hours and everything I could find on the costumes. I just thought they were phenomenal and appear to be pretty historically accurate, taken into context that they're making a TV show and all those things, but they were pretty historically accurate. And I love how they told the story also with the costumes. And so I did not think that I would ever be making one for myself, but here we are. So let's get into it. So the sewing pattern that I'm using is McCall's Costumes pattern. It's M8398. It just came out very recently and you can tell that it is very heavily inspired by 1883. Um, more of Faith Hill's character, Margaret Dutton. She wears something very similar like the style is completely like this her fabrics are a lot different I wanted to use what was already in my stash I didn't want to buy anything so this wasn't like a complete replica of her outfit it was just supposed to have that vibe even though Elsa Dutton's costumes are actually my favorite um she's played by Isabel May really really love that character she is just really in her strong girl era and I think that's what attracted me so much to 1883 as well as Yellowstone and also 1923 all of these are the different generations of the same family and the common theme here is really strong women and I don't even know if people notice that as much there I think like even with my husband so into the whole cowboy part and the western part and the guys part that they're missing that the common theme in all three of these shows is that really strong women lead the family and I just think that's so amazing so anyway let's get back into the project so you just see me work on the skirt. I won't show too much footage of it or talk too much about it. It's really self-explanatory. It's a very simple skirt with the waistband and a ruffle across the bottom. So I don't want to bore you to death with that. Things get a little bit more interesting when you get to working on the vest, which I am getting the pattern pieces laid out for. And the blouse also has some trickier elements to it. But the vest is where I'm starting now. I'm doing it out of this rust color. And then I had leftover of the floral linen from Mood that I use for the inside of the lining. So it wouldn't go to waste. And that made me pretty happy. Um, so yeah, getting that all cut out. Here I am working with the floral for the lining and the skirt is already taking shape on the form behind me and on the tv behind me is lessons in chemistry on apple tv you must watch i am obsessed currently so starting the vest this is piece 15 it should have been interfacing not fabric so i'm gonna get this cut out of interfacing and we are going to attach it to piece 14 which is the front so I think I'm going to prep the lining and the actual vest as I go, both whatever I'm trying to say, it's very early, it's like 8 a.m. Saturday morning. So I'm going to prep those as I, both sets as I go. So now I need to find interfacing and hope that I have some, oh, I have some scraps here, so hopefully. Yes, yes, yes. And so I only need to, I need to plug the iron. Okay. 
So the vest was a lot of cutting um, and you're doing everything twice. And yeah, it had a lot of marks on the pattern pieces. I'm filling all of those in now. I was a little bit scared going in. There's princess seams, there's a collar, all of the things that I used to avoid. And now I'm just moving into it. You see me out there dancing. I'm listening to Usher. I'm excited because I'm going to see Usher in like three weeks from this point for my anniversary. So yes, very excited about that. So working on getting those princess seams. You know that they are not my friend, but I've gotten a lot better with them and knowing how to pin them and clip them to manipulate them into place. So yes, the princess seams of the vest. I will say I do not think that any of these pieces were hard to construct or even that time consuming. I worked on this over several weekends, very early in the morning for just a few hours. I wish I had tracked my time a little bit more accurately to see exactly how long it took me, but it did not take as long as I thought that it would. Um, and I like the idea of having the three separate pieces because whenever I got bored with one piece, I would move on, like work on another one and then come back. So I didn't really do anything in order. I like jumped around to whatever I was feeling. And I think that's like a good way for me to sew. I usually try to have only one project going at a time. Um, but that sometimes leads to like lags in my content. If I'm working on something that I don't like, or if I get stuck in a spot, but I've already started like editing and put footage on my computer and my memory cards and like all of those things. So that can be hard for me sometimes. Um, my husband, I wonder what he wanted. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. Why am I so upset, Maverick? Because you don't want me to take what I have for granted. Right. And I don't like you and your sister fighting. Right? I want you to save your energy for the world, right? There's a lot of things going on that I can't, you're too young for me to even tell you about. But I want you to understand, we are very, very fortunate. And so to see you guys fighting right now, it just breaks my heart. It makes me cry and it makes me very upset. Save your energy for the world. It'll be enough to fight out there. But in here, this is, should be a safe space for everyone. So while we're leaving things in, I might as well leave that in. Leave it here for my kids so they'll have it for whenever they choose to come here. I hope they do. That day was a very hard day. Oh, war broke out. Um, so that was a hard day. Um, my kids were doing what kids do, what siblings do, and fighting. And I had a little bit of a breakdown. So that's what was happening then, but I kept on sewing. It, it was, it was a tough day. The fighting, I will say, it's usually, it's usually my daughter's the one who started it. She's one of those really strong girls. Um, those, I love those kind of girls, but yeah, it's hard when they live in your house. So we just seen the vest, the back of it come together. Now I'm working on the front. It was pretty smooth. I will not, I won't be dramatic. This was a pretty smooth make. What I will say now, I'm saying it now, though I love all three pieces collectively, I do not think I will wear this outdoors like together. Together, it looks very, very costumey. But separately, all of these pieces are amazing additions to my wardrobe. The skirt looks great with a blouse or a sweater. The vest looks great over a dress. The rust, the orange blouse looks great with my jeans and boots. Like, see, I'm starting to work on it now. Like, I love the three pieces as separates. Together, it's a costume. So we're back, still working on the Halloween pumpkin patch outfit. I'm actually wearing a shirt I made for Halloween 
two Halloweens ago. So like really when I first started sewing, look at the back. Look at the buttons. Like, can you see that? Like it's so cute. Believe it or not, it's actually comfy. Look what I have on. So like this is the fit for the day. Um, it's, It feels really good. The skirt is really stretchy. It's got a slit. It's doing its thing. And then the shirt is super cute. It's like skulls and really cute buttons. So anyway, we are currently gotta cut out the blouse and help Maverick. Is he over there? Yeah. Help Maverick with his homework. Multitasking on a Sunday morning. The hair is not what I really wanted it to be. No makeup, but we're friends, right? So yeah still same vegas nails but uh we'll get that together at some point so homework and cutting out the top so i'm gonna lay all the pieces down get them pinned in place um yeah and we're gonna keep this thing moving so i'm gonna yeah that stuff so what's our answer i can be kind and everyone the same i had a friend say to me recently that she is entering into her soft girl era and if you haven't heard this phrase used which it's used quite often um in social media and the likes but it basically means like a calm and peaceful existence and experience and when she said that i realized just how far from that, my current era is. Now that I am a working mother with a very demanding and high stakes job, two kids and a husband, I realize I am entering very much into my strong girl era because that's what is required to balance all of the things that come with all of the titles that I carry. And this very much ties into this sewing project because this is very much in line with the Dutton woman characters that are shown in Yellowstone, 1883 and 1923. Over several generations, strong Dutton women have done what is necessary to protect their families and preserve their way of life. In this season of my life, I can relate to that in ways I never thought possible. I can relate to 17-year-old Elsa fighting for autonomy and freedom. I can relate to her mother trying to keep her daughter safe while trying not to arrest her development. I can relate to Kara Dutton having to really step up when her husband is injured and fill his shoes temporarily but while still wearing her own. I can relate to Beth Dutton, an only daughter, trying to prove to her father that she is just as capable and worthy as his sons. With everything that is happening around us, I can understand how the good guys and bad guys are often just as hard to tell apart in real life as they are on Yellowstone, and how you can be both simultaneously if you have watched any of these shows i would love to hear your thoughts on my take on gender roles and the tropes set forth and i can't be the only one who enjoys all of these shows and has something and questions inside of me stirred so i would love to hear your thoughts on the taylor sheridan trilogy i guess So we're moving right along and making really good progress. Look at me doing all of the hard things, collars and buttonholes and all of the things that would stop me from sewing up a pattern that I really did like just out of fear of failure or yeah, a failure. I, I deal with that, um, but I found buttons. And so um, I'm really just proud of this project of attempting it and how far my sewing has come even though I don't get to do it as often as I like 
I hope over the winter to make more time for it. I know I'm always saying that, but I really, really do enjoy it. It really does something for me and um, I hope you guys enjoy it. And so here's footage of me doing the ruffle for the skirt. The skirt was completed just waiting on the ruffle. And the waistband, it was, uh, like I said before, a really simple skirt. I do wish that I had of added pockets. That would have made the skirt so much better. Um, I'm not sure why I've, I didn't. I've added pockets to a skirt pattern before. And so I really wish I had a gave that I try with this when I use this skirt pattern again because I'm sure I will because it's such a cute skirt and so simple to make I will definitely add pockets so getting the waistband pinned on get it stitched on and then down by hand and that's the skirt or it would have been if I didn't stitch it on the wrong way so out comes the seam rippers is it really a sewing project if the seam rippers don't come out, so yeah, it happened, as it always does. So I got the waistband all stitched in or on and slip stitched in by hand, but what I didn't do was put on the lap that was supposed to go on this edge first. And so I think I'm just going to end up like stitching that in to close it up i'm not really sure yet i don't know yet but what i'm gonna do now is just pin the ruffle to the bottom and then get it on and then we'll come back to okay so i said the skirt was easy but i didn't say that i didn't make a lot of mistakes i mean that's that's what I do over here. So yes, forgot to attach the lap. I end up just like folding that in under and stitching it down and then closing it up with um, snaps. And then I put hooks and eyes at the waistband or well, on the waistband. And so now here I am back working on the sleeves to the actual blouse. This part was a little tricky. You cut to the dot that's on the sleeve and then you sew a lap onto that. That's basically like a facing to cover up where you cut into it. And that was a little bit tricky just because I struggle with just like being really precise and neat. Um, but I did a pretty good job this time. I really just slowed down and took my time with it. And that definitely made a difference in how it came out. But it was a little tricky to get sewn on this is where it matters that like all your markings are accurate and when they say sew to the dot you sew to the dot not further or even less than I guess so precision is key here so be careful with this part of it if you're still not really good at sewing like me Since this outfit is based on Margaret Dutton's outfit in 1883, let's dig into her a bit and her strength as a wife and mother. One of the words that comes to me first is selfless. You can see in her eyes the sacrifices she made for the love of a man, and that love leads to babies, which we all know leads to even more sacrifice. You can also see the pride she takes in these choices she has made, even though, to use her own words, all choices have fangs. I think there is much honor in raising your children and supporting your husband's dreams. I have what is now considered very old fashioned values when it comes to that sort of thing. And I don't really have any shame about it. My children know that their father is the leader of our, our family, but I think they are also aware of the fact that he couldn't get the job done without me. There is strength in doing hard things without requiring a pause for them. To get back into the sewing, you see me bring out my old brother machine because it actually makes better buttonholes than this baby lock. And 
between the vest and the blouse, there's lots of buttonholes. And so I wanted those to be really good. So um, got out the old machine. I put in the buttonholes on the cuff and then attached it. And I'll slip stitch this down by hand and looks pretty good if I do say so myself. Okay. So this neck's a little interesting, but otherwise we do have a blowout. And that's that lap piece. Need a good pressing, but otherwise not too shabby. I see that just as Margaret Dutton has a very strong daughter in Elsa, I have a very strong one too. Not much different. I realize that all of the qualities my daughter possesses that will make her a strong woman, determined, capable, decisive, they're a bit hard to deal with in a girl. It's a balance reining it all in without putting out the flame. One of my favorite moments from 1883 is when Elsa realizes her mother is strong and full of fire too that what's in her is also in her mother and that's where she inherited from. That her mother isn't just her mother and her father's wife. She is a woman. I think of the moment I first seen my own mother as a thing other than my mother and also makes me think of the day my daughter will see me. I dream of the day she will see that all that fire in her, it came from me. I hope she chooses to be a wife and a mother too because it has been the best thing that ever happened to me. I think I'm finally fully coming into womanhood and that combined with motherhood has definitely pushed me into my strong girl era. And I really like it here and I believe this is where I will stay. We are so close to the finish line here. This is the part I wasn't looking forward to, the pleating of the peplum, but I got all the markings in place and I'm excited to get it done, but first, a little break. This is one of my favorite family traditions that we have. We go every single year since I became a mom to get our pumpkins from the same place and take the hayride and pick apples and eat pumpkin ice cream and all of the fall things. And I really, really love it here with my family. It's one of my favorite things. And it was such an enjoyable day. I was really happy to have it. And then a few days later was Halloween and we had a ninja in major. My girl was a fox. Clever little fox she is. I am finally, finally finishing the 1883 project. This was definitely an enjoyable sewing project, a labor of love. I love all three final pieces. I cannot wait for you to see them. What I'm working on right now is the last of it, and that is getting the peplum attached to the bottom of the vest. So that's where it goes. Um, that's my lining. It looks really good. I really like it. And this is the peplum piece. So I give it a really good press and then I pleat it on the lines on the outside and then I get it attached. And that's what you see me doing right at this moment. So I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this project. I know it, it was something different for me to sew. I really enjoyed sewing it. I picked up some new skills. I challenged myself in a lot of ways. I am definitely stepping into that strong girl era very very confidently and I'm very proud of that. I hope you guys decide to leave me some feedback in the comment box below or give this video a share. It helps to push my channel. Um, I would love just to hear your thoughts on this video on costumes as clothes on Yellowstone and 1883 and soft girl versus strong girl and like all of the things I would really enjoy having these conversations with you all and really enjoy being in community with you all. Thank you all so much for your support. It really does mean a lot to me. So what you see me doing here is threading my needle because I'm going to finish 
the facing of the bottom of the vest by hand just because it is a very soft girl thing to do, I guess. Or no, maybe it's a very strong girl thing to do. I think that's up for you to decide. So, yes, thank you for being here. And let's get into the final photos because I'm so very excited to show you. So this is the final outfit, my 1883 outfit with very modern Timberlands, but I love it. Look at the lap, look how the cuff matches the vest and how the lining matches the skirt. I mean, it is just, it is adorable. I really do love it. I will definitely wear the three pieces separately, as I mentioned. I Together, clothes for, costumes for clothes, I don't know. Let me know what you think, but that was funny. So as I was modeling it up, two bunnies came out of the bushes, scared the crap out of me. I tried to play it off, but I couldn't because it was just too funny and I almost fell. My hem got caught <laughs> on my boot. It, it was fun. This whole project was fun and I hope, I hope you had fun too. And I will see you in the next one that is soon and sure to come.